In this video, I want to demonstrate how to make this lofted feature here. So I'm going to control tab back to my other part. The first thing I'm going to do is select this face and start a sketch on it. And I'm just going to convert the face. I'll right click to accept it. And I'll right click to exit that sketch. Next, in my top plane, I'm going to create a sketch. So I'm just going to look normal to it. Zoom out a bit and back in on here. I'm just going to sketch a center line. I'm going to activate Smart Dimension and I'm going to make this inch and three eighths long. And at the end of it, I'm going to add a point. And I'm going to add that point. So I've added my point. I'll right click and exit the sketch. And I added that point to show you that I can use a point when I create a loft. So I'm going to also add two more sketches yet in this top plane. So I'm going to show it. I'm going to sketch a three point arc from here to here and I'll come out. And I would like it to have a nice curvature that's tangent to this edge. So I'll select that edge, I'll hold control, select it, and I'll make them tangent. And that looks good. I'm going to exit that sketch. I'm going to do another sketch in the top plane. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to add a three point arc from here to here. I'll click to place it. And again, I want it tangent to this edge. So I'll select that edge, hold control, release control after I select my arc and make them tangent. So that looks okay. It is going to come to a bit of a point, but that's all right. I want to demonstrate how to use a point as a loft profile. And next, this plane goes through the middle of the part, so I'm going to sketch it in. I'll look normal too. And I'm going to make one more three points arc from here to here. And once again, I would like it tangent to the part profile. So if I can't select that part profile, it's fine. I'll just convert. So I'll select that edge, convert it. I'll select it one more time, and I'm going to make that construction geometry. Select it again. Hold control, select this arc, and it's going to be tangent. So I'll exit the sketch, and I'm going to go back to the isometric view. So now I have the sketch as I want. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell I want to make a loft at boss. I'm going to select this profile. And then I want to make sure I get that point. So I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to use the select other. And I'm going to grab the point, and you see I get a preview. So if I just say OK for now, that's what my loft will look like. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to edit that loft that feature. And I'm going to add the guide curves one at a time. So if I add this guide curve, again, I'll right click and accept it. We can see how it's changed. Again, I'll go back and I'll edit this feature. Make sure I'm adding guide curves. If I add this one, I'll right click and accept it. Once again, we can see the change. And one last time, I'll edit this feature, make sure I'm adding a guide curve, and I'll select this profile. I'll right click to accept it, and there I've used a point as a loft profile. Now that's a little pointier than I would like, but that's okay. So select the isometric view, and go ahead and have fun making your nose cone in case our stasis pod has to be ejected into Atmos.